Today I have been to the most beautiful place ever and welcome to the Yardy Harmy Harties day two of the build vlog. Uh, so some of you actually seem to enjoy it and uh, Shirley seems to enjoy it as well. He is having a blast with uh, play playing with the big boxes and stuff. He either is going crazy or he has a ridiculous amount of fun. I actually cannot tell the difference. Um, yeah. Anyway, I've been to the most beautiful places. I said IKEA. Yes. Well, I guess I was I was there before uh, yesterday as well. Uh, but today I had to go there again because I needed this this thing right here. It's a, a fifth leg to the table, which will actually go in the center. As you can see. It doesn't actually fit below the table because it's already started sagging. So I'll have to uh, put take everything off the table again, which I guess I will need anyway because I'm going to drill the holes today. Uh, but I need to do that, flip the table over, put in the fifth leg uh, to stop it from sagging because there's going to be a lot of stuff on this table, which are all heavy. I uh, got some more stuff from Ikea. This is actually a second cable box and it will actually be on the table because uh, they had this inductive charging uh, pad that you can put on the top of the cable box so I can hide some cables and use inductive charging and I went to my uh, the shop where I buy all, all everything that is remotely connected to electronics I go to a place called uh, Shell & Company I'm not sure if you have it where you live but we have it here in Sweden uh, and that's it's like the only place in Sweden I feel like that actually has basically everything connected to electronics and this is a little bit of a uh, it's just a coil in a bag I guess and you just put it uh, in the back plate of the phone I thought I would have to find like a random coil somewhere on the internet and buy it but I won't have to so I just slam that into the phone uh, the original purpose I went to Shell & Company was to buy this uh, the 15 pin 2 Molex connector so I can connect the lights. So we have that and that is what we're gonna start off with. So we have the Molex uh, for the lights, we have the new cable box, uh, we have uh, extra mounting points uh, for the drills, so the, be the beautiful plug I told you about. I'm gonna put one behind the computer and one by the screens and uh, so I can actually pull the cables below the table, hide them in a, a nice rail and uh, basically all my cables for peripherals and stuff will come up through this hole uh, behind the screens uh, which will make it look a lot better so I'll have to um, remove everything from the desk and put it somewhere else and then uh, well I guess I'll do the lights first because that's the most interesting I guess not really but yeah <laughs> see you in a sec so there we go the lights are inside they go from that cord right there and they go along the top over along the edge here at the top and then down about halfway that's all the distance i had i thought one meter would be more than enough but it seems like two meter would be an actual turn around the case anyway i picked this up and just connected it to the wall in a pretty default manner put the little uh, coil inside the foin fo in the foin in the foin and you just put the phone down on one of the plus signs and it says doo -doo, and it's charging. Uh, very simple, very nice. I'll, I'll get used to this one. I will get used to this one. I, I can feel it already. Just put away the phone and it's charging. That's perfect. Uh, anyway, I think it's time to start up the PC. Uh, also, switch, switch the power on, first of all. Uh, so there we go. I don't think it's on right now. So there we go. There we have some light. That's not much. I think it's the default amount. Um, honestly, I cannot see the light at all. Is it too bright? Let's do that. Do that. Close this guy off. Uh, no, I can't see any light whatsoever. I can see some from the top. Okay, I feel nice about not actually connecting this the first thing I did. Uh, I feel like one way to do it might be actually going around the inside of the glass. 
and I'll just grab some random pieces of tape to do that. Uh, I don't. I get. So, I got some. Uh, let's turn on the light. I got some like special type brackets here uh, that I can just uh, t connect to the sides, and I build that for the final position. But that's not now. So um, we'll shut down here. Without the mouse pad, the mouse is absolutely useless, I suppose. Uh, so. And you cannot do this without a keyboard anymore, or, or without a mouse. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, the mouse seems to be working. Yeah, good. Perfect. Perfect! Okay, it wasn't actually that bad to put back on. Uh, you may be able to see, yeah, you can see the cable there sticking out. Looks terrible. Um, I should be able to fix that. Should be, if I had two hands. Two hands, five seconds later, and there we go. Let's press the button. Oh, look at that! That's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Let's do that. Yeah, that looks immensely much better than anything I tried before. And uh, I didn't need all of the connectors. Let's see, do we have full power on or... No, I can dim it down, can bright it up, and there's a button to turn it off, I think. Yeah, there we go, if I don't like it. I guess the Windforce logo is so much brighter anyway. Yeah. Uh, that looks pretty cool. I do like it. And uh, what if I look from that? Yeah, it does bright up the entire case a bit. Uh, just having it placed better. Uh, so there you go. It was very tight along the top and the bottom here. Let's turn the lights on. Uh, so very tight along the top and bottom to just fit the cable whatsoever. I couldn't use more than two of these. So these are trash. Uh, but I couldn't use more than two of them because they they just didn't fit. One guy also asked if what I'm gonna do for a headset stand if I had a banana stand. And I don't, I have this guy. So much better. I just randomly found this at Ikea. And it is the absolute perfect headphone stand, in my opinion. So you put it up to the wall. And you mount it to the wall. So this, this side here where my hand is would be the wall. And you just flip it open. It's a bit hard to do with one hand, but you flip it open and it is... I mean, it's just the right size. It has that little hook as well at the end that makes sure that the heads, headset don't accidentally fall off. And I feel like it's actually designed for a headset, but it's... And when you don't use the headset, you just click it open and it's not sticking out of the wall unnecessarily. So, so that's pretty cool. That's a pretty neat design. I, I'm not sure what they actually meant for it to be used for because it just seems like the perfect headset wall mount to me. So that is going up somewhere along here. So I can easily grab the headset and it will hang in a nice place below the Finding Nemo painting. It's not a painting, it's a photograph. So. There we go. It's a golden Mr. Guy, whatever his name was. Well, that was interesting. As you can see, we have the hole here. We have this guy. This guy is not as deep as the table. So just, if we put him in, let's put it in there. That's what he said, uh, or she said, I guess. Uh, we'll see that we have half, I almost half, not really half, of the inside of the table visible. And nicht like, I nicht like that. I don't have any electrical tape though, that I could use for it, unless I have something in the magical toolbox. So let's see. Magic toolbox, do you contain exactly what I need at this very moment? You do not, you have been revoked. Of your status as a magical uh, toolbox. Uh, I'm sorry to regret that you will be granted a new type of title which will be almost magical toolbox. So yeah this guy was a little bit more difficult. As you can see it's actually solid. It's um, so here we have him he is completely solid compared to this guy who is completely hollow. I could just squish it together. Uh, this guy, not so much. It's really solid. Made me break a sweat. It's, it's good to know that I can 
drill through wood without power tools. Uh, I feel very manly right now, as I should. And, uh, well, I guess it's not solid wood, it's, uh, it's packed uh, sawdust. I, th I, I think it's packed sawdust. Feels like it, looks like it. If it walks like a packed sawdust and talks like a packed sawdust, then it's packed sawdust. And this definitely walks and talks like packed sawdust. So, there we go. Mystery solved. Ah, oh, nice, just sitting down here. I've been sitting down and drilling uh, the next part that I'm gonna show you. So, we don't have much left. It's really only the box before we can put in uh, and draw all the cables. Uh, but over here on the wall, it will be imperfect. Now I'm sitting in the right place and filming to the right. So we do this. I'll be sitting here, and I uh, when I take off my headset, I'll just flip that open, put that there, and uh, talk away from the camera. Uh, and just do like that. And when I need my headset, I just take it, click that up, and I just have a fancy little aluminium piece on the wall. Aluminium. Okay, let's go on a scavenge hunt. I need to secure this tightly to the bottom of the table. So I need to find uh, either some magical screw that probably doesn't even exist in the entire world, or some form of brackets that I can use. Which I am fairly confident that... Uh, wait, what is this? Those are bolts. There are no brackets inside here. I'm just not filming what I'm looking at. I mean, I could use them as brackets. Uh, but even then, I don't think they're large enough. Uh, let's see here. No, they just fall through. Uh, I might have to make my own holes. What is it? Uh, it's plastic. Yeah, if I drill first, make four holes, it might work, and I might have the perfect screws to actually do that. I mean, the bottom of this, this is just a garbled mesh. Um, I don't like it when it's like that, but there are uh, two more people. Wait, what is this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. If I, if I find another one of those... Um, but yeah, there are two other people that also use this box and I found another one and I may have to thank them for just throwing things inside boxes all the time because I happened to find two things that I needed and now I just need to find the, the bolts or the, the, the screws that I need and that should be fairly straightforward uh, but you do not want to be with me when I dig through this mess that I do hate so Hooty 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 hoo. So there we go. This are the these two cables that you see in front of you. This one and that one is hopefully the only cables you will see once everything is in position. I mean you will see some behind the PC and some sticking up from that hole, but aside from those cables, I hope that I will be able to fit everything in this one. Because this one is just attached right there, you can see it. it's pretty it's pretty stable and that Ah, I have to, yeah, it, I've, I had no idea they were that hardly connected. Now this one is, yeah, I have connected that one, but it, it fits this entire one. I didn't think it would, so I actually got two of these, <laughs> uh, just to make sure. But depending on if I actually use all of these, I may actually switch those that one out, because you can see it doesn't fit perfectly uh, inside there. So we'll see how much fits in there, and the plan is that if we lay down, I wanna lay you down in a bed of roses. Uh, we're laying down here. Can I zoom out something? No, I can't. I just have to be really close. Uh, so this is behind the PC. The power cable will come in, well, preferably from the back, uh, but it didn't really reach. So it comes in from here. And all the power cables are just tied up together inside this box. And just the right amount goes up here into the PC. And then the peripherals and everything, they go in here. And the extra length go into, into this guy. 
and the rest of it goes into a canal that will go from here, continue along the back of the disc, and then end here, and then just go out and have just enough length to reach their final destination. And I'm too zoomed in as usual. How many USB ports do I have? I need just one more. Looking, looking, scanning, scanning. Now I'll have to watch the video. Now that is all the cables that go through the rail. Uh, I still have... Well, that's one more power cable, so... That's the Oculus camera. That's two cables on that guy. This webcam one cable. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that right? One, two, bunch of cables. Okay, so I thought that the hole behind the PC would have the most cables. I didn't think this guy was going to be the one with like mashed cables. Like this does look pretty clean. Okay, it's hard to see. Uh, and I didn't put the box on this guy, so he just stands by himself. He can do that. Oh, there's a USB port. That's cool. That's cool. I can charge my phone while I charge my phone. That's awesome! Um, anyway, uh, where was I? So yeah, the Oculus actually goes behind here, behind the PC, uh, so that I can use it. And the X52s, having the shortest cables I've ever seen, has uh, and will be placed on top of here, because that's the only place I actually have space for them. Hey, the dishwasher's done! Awesome! Uh, it, it just goes down behind. There's, it doesn't go through any of the cable management. Uh, so what I'm gonna do next is just uh, take all of these cables, all of these, all of these, and put it into this guy. Um, I am uh, probably sanely skeptical uh, because this is probably not going to work. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. Here we go guys, the real nerdgasm is about to hit me, I guess. I'm not sure if it's gonna hit you as much as it is hitting me. I can, I can feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my toe. I'm not gonna. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Just gonna take a beauty sweep over this because it looks, to me, amazing. I mean, some guys have glass tables with their uh, pieces inside. This is not that high of a budget, so... Uh, here we go, you can even, you're even getting a timestamp on this. Why is that? Okay, I put the mouse in the corner. Uh, anyway, it looks amazing, according to me. Let's take a look below. There we go. There's the box with all the cables in them. Uh, you can see in the corner here, there's a couple of cables. And that's just the sound system, it requires like four cables. It's the uh, left, right, main, and uh, just uh, like an audio source from the PC. And then a power cable, and it all goes up to uh, to the box, and then up to the PC, and as well out to the actual speakers. Um, so yeah, this rail was stupendously easy to make, or to like put, get all the cables in, even though I didn't think they would fit. And all I did was, uh, I started uh, by connecting that side of the rail to that side, and just slide it over all the way. It's not, it's not as easy as I make it sound, but it was fairly easy. Getting all the cables into the box, that was not easy. It was ridiculously hard. But I managed to get it so that I have enough space to press this button if I feel the need. Uh, which I probably never will feel, because uh, I, have, I have the connector here. So uh, we got that going for us. And uh, yeah, let's take a, a night look. Just uh, focus on the screen. Take a look at that. I mean, you don't see much of the TV. But this looks... It looks as good as I imagined it would. If not better. Let's go up here. It's a bit dark in there. But it's just enough. I thought they would be brighter. I heard a lot of people saying they were ridiculously bright. But I haven't heard anything about the orange one, so there we go. Uh, the TV is not yet connected to the wall, and it won't be connected via the same stuff. 
because on this side of the desk there's nothing. All the cable stuff are on the right side of the desk. Uh, so the cable for the TV is actually going below the bed over here um, and gets connected there. And then that's the only cable going uh, because uh, as I probably, I think I said that before, but I'm using the Chromecast. And the main reason I'm doing that is because I only have one HDMI port on the uh, on the graphics card. So, so that's why. And th that is uh, the Oculus port. Does that work? I guess not. Uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, that's that's everything. That's everything. And I hope you enjoy this uh, as much as I did. Uh, I had a blast. Blah blah. blah. I had a blast uh, doing this. Had a blast. Had a blast. Um. It was real fun, and the results are amazing in my eyes. So I'm going to uh, what what's what I'm going to do today is just connect the Chromecast, figure out how that works, and then I'm just going to sit by this computer and have fun. Girls just wanna have fun. Yo, -ho, girls just wanna have fun. Girls just wanna have fun. <laughs> You just wanna have Thank you all for watching and enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the rest of your day